mental health services for the entire family. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is John White Jr. He's president and CEO of the Consortium Incorporated. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the work that you do because this is a comprehensive behavioral health center. You serve some 15,000 people a year in a variety of different ways. We sure do. Uh, we've been providing behavioral health services now for 49 years. Next year will be our 50th anniversary of continuous service. We were the first methadone clinic in Pennsylvania, and we were the first community control board of directors of any of the mental health agencies in the country. And so today, in serving those 15,000, we've got to make sure that we're relevant to that community. And one of the things that we're seeing is a lot of trauma. And so in each one of our programs, there are clinicians, therapists, who are trauma trained, either in prolonged exposure to trauma or being trauma informed. Trauma affects everyone, children, the families, the adults, and even on the addictions program. It's all a part, a key component to really trying to help people into recovery. And that's an important point because if someone has underlying trauma in, in their background, does that become more challenging then when you're working to treat things like a substance addiction? Absolutely, absolutely, because you know trauma can impact you in so many different ways. Uh, particularly on the addiction side, it's prolonged exposure to it. It's exposure to trauma situations over and over again. And the fact that we have trained clinicians who are able to capture that and to begin to really dig, uh, do a deeper dive into some of the issues that are fostering your addiction or your mental illness, we think it's a very good thing. Uh, you mentioned mental health treatment, addiction services as well, but the idea of trauma, we're talking about a variety of different types of trauma, but post-traumatic stress is something that you see. We often associate that with people who have been in the military, but you say it happens in when, kids, for example. When children are exposed to violent situations, traumatic situations over and over again, or traumatic situation that, that really doesn't isn't responded to appropriately, therapeutically, it can lead to future problems. And while we think of uh, post traumatic stress as in terms of the military, postpartum, post-delivery stress mm -hmm. for you know, women with newborns is also a very, very risky situation that many women find themselves into. And to be able to articulate that and to deal with that uh, early on, I think, you know, contributes to a, a healthier lifestyle. And you mentioned that as an organization, you are approaching your 50th anniversary, but something that has been particularly challenging over the past several years is related to opioids and related to heroin. Is that something you're working to address as well? Well, the, our methadone clinic, I said, is the mm -hmm. first one in, in Pennsylvania. Um, and um, truthfully, there's a heroin epidemic. We're now talking about it in the context of opiates. But truthfully, when you're speaking of opiates, most people are thinking that's over-the-counter, you know, abuse of medications. But uh, opiate is also a heroin problem. Um, and heroin addiction and the ways in which we can uh, provide people with avenues by which they can kick it, uh, kick that habit, are, are essential to, to the Philadelphia community. You mentioned serving some 15,000 people a year in, in many different ways. If someone is in need of services, can they just reach out? They can reach out to us directly through 215-596-8100. Uh, and all they got to do is say they're looking for help. And they'll direct them to you know, the right location, whether it's for the adults, the family, or for the, or the child, whether it's addiction or whether it's mental health related. And that's an, an important point because we are talking about behavioral health services, mental health services, addiction services for an entire family, exactly. an entire community. Exactly. Family-focused services are very, very important. It's not a journey that a child wants to take on its own. It's not a journey that an individual family member wants to take on their own. It really does involve all the key elements of their social being in helping to address this and encouraging them to continue this journey through recovery. Thanks Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with John White Jr. He's president and CEO of the Consortium Incorporated. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.